House Democrats released a study today that they say shows a link between availability of guns and rising number of suicides by firearm. And Phoenix was among the top metro areas in the country for such deaths. Hannah Ehrlich has more from our Washington Bureau. The report by Democrats on the Joint Economic Committee said the Phoenix metro area was sixth highest in the nation, with the rate of 10.6 firearm suicides per 100,000 people. But that was just one of the report's findings. It said suicides with a gun are more likely in rural areas and more likely in western and southern states where guns are more prevalent. It also showed a steady increase in such suicides over the last 17 years. Robin Lloyd of the gun safety organization Giffords says some groups are getting hit harder than others. Um, I think, uh, as the congresswoman said, older white men are at the most at risk for suicide with firearms. Of course, there are um, demographics that are disproportionately impacted. Veterans is one of them. And then I do think that um, we are seeing an increase of suicide with firearms among young people. The report confirmed that, showing that more than 35 percent of the men who committed suicide with a firearm in Arizona were 65 and over. That reflected national numbers, which showed older men are more at risk to commit suicide with a firearm. But every group is affected. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Kylie Ann Hunter explains this is in part to the access people have to firearms in their households. And the female veterans are up to 75 times more likely to own guns than their civilian counterparts, as well as 300 times more likely to die by gun suicide than a civilian. While the highest numbers were in rural areas, some urban areas bucked the trend, like the Phoenix Mesa Scottsdale area, where the rate of 10.6 firearm suicides per 100,000 residents was well above the national rate of 7.7 .7 such suicides. Lloyd says it's absolutely not the case that other forms of suicides are as prevalent as those by firearm. But gun suicides are more deadly, she said, which is why action must be taken. A lot of times people who survive a suicide attempt um, do not go on to commit suicide. So it is um, very critical that we prevent people from turning to the most, most lethal means of um, suicide in that acute moment. Advocates here called on the Senate to act on a bill toughening background checks on gun purchases. It passed the House in February, but has stalled in the Senate. We reached out to the National Rifle Association and the Arizona State Rifle and Pistol Association for comment, but have not heard back. In Washington, Hannah Ehrlich, Cronkite News.